A raccoon remains trapped at the top of a light pole along Alexandria Pike and Cold Spring. Chancellor Wynn has been live at the scene all day as rescue attempts are made. Rob, it has been a developing scene. This is actually, for being a raccoon stuck on top of a light pole here, it has been a scene that consistently is changing. About every 15 minutes or so, there's a new rescue attempt. In fact, right now, it is a bit dark, but you can see behind me, there is five people. They're holding a very large sheet. This is a common practice they've been doing for the past, I've been here for about four or five hours. But right now, the goal here for the, the group of people that are trying to rescue this raccoon is to scare the raccoon from the top of the light pole in hopes that it will fall and they can catch the raccoon inside of that large sheet. Now this has been a a last resort type of rescue attempt because they said they did contact fire departments, police officers, animal rescues, even Duke Energy and Central Campbell County Fire District says that for safety and liability reasons, they're not attempting to assist the wild raccoon in this rescue. And uh, we have had animal rescues out here working, helping people. They bring out waters possibly to give to the raccoon, cans of sardines. But what I've told from one of the residents here that says she's drove by this light pole around 10 o'clock this morning and saw the raccoon up there. We're now at after 10 o'clock in the evening. So that's about a 12 hour period. And with the hot temperatures, one thing we've noticed by watching the raccoon, especially with the camera when we can zoom in on him is he does get a bit tired you'll notice that he, he will grab and grip on the pole and then let his arms and legs rest for a bit but right now we are actually in the midst in the middle of another rescue attempt of this raccoon you can kind of see it it is a bit dark but there is a drone that's that red light you see very close hovering over the raccoon here and they're hoping that they can get this drone to just simply scare the raccoon to fall into this large sheet that the five people currently are holding. Of course, we've been out here for quite a bit of time already, and we are going to remain out here as long as people are continuing to attempt to rescue this raccoon. And a lot of the people, there's a large crowd, it just continues to form, dissipate, fall apart a little bit, and then this crowd comes right back. I mean, right now we have about 25 people standing in the parking lot of El Nepal Mexican restaurant watching this rescue attempt take place. Of course, if anything changes, we get updates and we get this rescued raccoon down to safety, we will immediately let you no, reporting live in Cold Spring, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 now. Chancellor, two things. Um, are there any, like, official people on scene who try to rescue this raccoon, number one? And number two, you got to tell me if more people start to show up after watching this on the news. For one, there has not been any officials on scene. There was a about two hours ago when they they were shaking the pole a police officer pulled up to help block traffic in that turn lane there but the officers did not attempt in rescuing him and of course we have seen this it's all over social media and that's one reason why these crowds keep forming we've actually had a man show up. he said hey I saw a post on Twitter and I came right down so we will of course if we get more people out here after watching Fox 19 news we will definitely keep you up to date all right Chancellor Wynn reporting live in Cold Spring thank you very much